All right, there we go. It was, uh, I did the wrong step there somewhere. All right, so now we have it on the same uh, height as the other one. And we're just kind of going to position that in so that it matches the other side. Um, nothing too fancy. Just needs to just needs to look okay. So I think uh, I think we've got this pretty good. Maybe we'll just bump it in a little bit. Try and hide some of that darker area. So now we have our wings, both of our wings done, and we also have the face uh, highlight and the body done so far. All right, so now what we're going to do is add the eyes in, and to do that, we're going to grab our ellipse tool, set it to a black color, and then what we're going to do is just kind of drag out uh, some ovals for the shape of our eyes. And then we're going to uh, just duplicate that layer, and we're going to hold shift and pull that out. That way it is uh, on the same level as the other eye. And then we can grab both of these and just kind of position them on the face. And we want some dimension to these eyes, so we're kind of going to grab our FX tool, or our little FX tab down here, go to Bevel and Emboss, and um, that looks pretty good right off the bat, but we're going to um, size it up a little bit. Or not size it up, we want we want to mess with the softness, actually. So put the softness up so it just kind of smooths it out a little bit. Maybe 4 looks pretty good. So it's uh, inner bevel smooth, 100% up 5 and 4, and then the rest is just default. Um, so I'm just going to go to right click copy layer style and then paste it on this other eye so it's consistent. And now what we're going to do is make his nose or beak. So we're going to um, grab our pen tool and we're going to just kind of make a diamond shape here for our nose. Oh, a diamond shape, not a triangle. Alright, so now we can just grab our direct selection tool here and... Uh, you want to make sure that the nose is the same width um, throughout, so that we don't uh, we don't want it to be kind of lopsided. That would be not very good. You want to make sure that these top two points line up, and then that these uh, side two points line up. Um, so we're going to make this um, kind of an orangish color, maybe maybe a little lighter than that. It's BC nine four one eight is the hex code on that. Um, so now what we're going to do is rasterize this by right clicking rasterize layer and then I'm going to uh, grab the burn tool, the exposure is still on 20 and highlights and everything. And I'm kind of going to just try and add a little bit of dimension to this so just kind of around these outside, this outside part I'm going to just try and darken that up. Give it the effect of um, being a little pointy. So the middle should be closest to the actual color, and then the outside should be relatively dark. And then towards the top, it should be a little bit lighter. So that's that's what we've got there. I think that'll look pretty good. Let's uh, let's check it out back because it's easy to spot uh, if something is out of proportion. If it's um, when you get farther back, and you can see the entire thing. Um, I'm gonna turn off the transform tools here so that we can actually see what we're doing. We're just gonna kind of gonna try and position that in the middle of the two eyes, slightly below it there. So I think we uh, we got it looking pretty good now. So now what we're gonna do is actually add in some toes. So to add our toes, what we're gonna do is just kind of grab our ellipse tool, and we're gonna go down to the bottom of his body, and grab our ellipse tool again. Um, and we're just kind of gonna drag out some toe shapes. So. Uh, it's kind of an elongated circle there. And um, I'm just going to move this up so we can see it. And what we're going to do first is to kind of make one toe, and then we're going to make the rest of the toes. So we're just kind of going to grab some kind of uh, probably a brighter orange for the toe, maybe, maybe that. Uh, C9AE19 is the hex code. So we're going to leave that, and then we're going to grab our burn tool. And we're going to first rasterize this out, so right-click rasterize layer. And then we're kind of going to burn uh, the edges of this toe also. Kind of like what we've done with the rest of the stuff. So it's kind of a little more delicate here. Just trying to give it a little bit of dimension. 
You'll be able to see it better when we zoom out. Um, and then what we're going to do is, actually let's zoom out, make sure that, that that one toe looks okay in our whole thing. It's a little bit small, so we're gonna kinda size it up. I think that looks, that looks better. Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's grab our transform tools again. and See what that looks like. That looks pretty good. It's a little bit of a bigger toe, so you can really grasp something. So what we're gonna do is just grab this one toe and then we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to, not sure what that is. Oh, that's his nose. Let's, let's label that, because I almost forgot. We're just gonna click a couple times here. Uh, it's, being, it's frustrating me. Okay, well, we'll name that later. So what we're gonna do is uh, grab our other toe and we're just gonna position this out Gonna zoom in here, and on our first toe, we're just going to bring it down and rotate it around. So we're gonna need our transform controls again. Rotate it around. Our second one, well first we're gonna click the check mark. Our second one's kinda of gonna be about straight up and down. And then we're gonna copy that again, and then the next one is going to be uh, rotated the other way. So to the right, we're gonna rotate it a little bit. So there we go, we have one foot completed. So we're going to hold shift and select all of those, group it together, and we're just gonna call that like left foot. And then we're going to duplicate that group, and this is gonna be right foot. And we're just going to slide that over with shift. And we're kinda gonna rotate that foot a little bit to the right the check mark and we're just kind of going to have it like that and this left foot's kind of going to curve a little bit to the left we'll put that over here and we're pretty much done with our bird now so go out to 100 percent and see what we've got here and move these down a little bit and i think we're pretty good all right, so now that we're done with the feet, um, we're going to, I'm gonna show you kind of the application of this. Um, actually, I kind of want to move in the right foot a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. So we've got our little Twitter bird. Um, so we can actually grab all of this and um, let's just group this as bird. There we go. So now we can move this around as an entire object. And, um, what you can do with this, uh, you can add a tail in if you want, um, but I'm not going to because what I'm thinking we might do with this is uh, kind of give, give them something to hold, maybe a banner or a little box, and in the future we can do something with that. Um, but say he's holding, holding this box, and actually let's put this, let's name it box, and then we'll put it inside of the bird layer, and that way we can put it underneath his feet and his left foot and his right feet, so we're just gonna put it right there because we want it to be above everything else except the foot. Oh darn, I accidentally uh, added it into um, into the, um, the group. We want it to be right below the group and we can actually move this up and it'll look like he is holding it because his feet will be on top of the box. And I mean, you can move it over. But then we can actually make it look like he's holding something and make something in the future that he'll be holding. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you next week. Thanks.